I spent $200 on this mystery box of cameras. I got it off of a bidding site. Uh, there was little information to go off of, and it said parts and repairs. So I have no idea what we're gonna get in this box. There should be about six to eight cameras. The photos were so bad. They were super small, and all you just saw was a, a mess, basically. But I think that there is a Nikon 2 body in here. Now that's a pretty identifiable camera, but I also think that there's a Leica. I really do, I think there's a Leica in here. Um, super hard to tell, but boy, we're about to find out. Okay, well, let's start with package number one. <laughs> All right, camera number one, a Mikai, Mikai, I don't know. This is plastic, it's fun, it's, I, I saw from the photo it was missing, oh, it's not missing, I thought it was missing a winder, but it's not, it's, this is it. Oh, that's funny. Oh, okay, this piece is gone. Well, that winder for the plunger. <laughs> okay, this is kind of fun. I have no idea what this is again. It's like... Obviously, it's supposed to look... Well, it's supposed to look like a few different cameras. But, you know, I love a plastic camera. Something you just throw in a bag, doesn't matter if it breaks. Like, you never know what you're going to get. Crazy light leaks. It's fun. I got a little counter. I mean, it does feel super cheap. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh, hey! <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, hot or a tripod mount. All right. <gasps> oh, ta -da. oh, the door comes off. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Oh wow. I mean that works. You know. New color. Oh, what does that even mean, new color? Fun stuff, you know. I am definitely not mad at it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but, you know, I'm going to find a find a home, a place, a purpose. Take some <laughs> test shots and see if it gets anything. Oh. No, that's broken too. Alright. I'm going to get some light leaks in there. Not bad at all. Alright, camera number two. The Olympus. This thing is pretty used up. You know, it's probably like 90s, you know. Um, oh, there you go. Missing a door here. Nothing some tape won't fix. Alright, well, this is funky. Uh, yeah, like all plastic. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, it's definitely been used. These buttons are really worn. A little rubber, a rubber um, shutter. That's kind of nice. I don't mind that for these electronic uh, um, shutter releases because sometimes there's no click and you, you just have to feel the shutter move, which is, you don't always feel. So I like when there's a tactile response. Open her up. Okay. Well, light seals are still good, foam and everything. This camera definitely looks like it's lived a life. It's got a story. Um, might still work. We'll see. Um, I have hope considering that's probably it. Um, Quanta Ray Infinity Zoom. <laughs> It'll never stop zooming if you can find a battery door. Camera number three The Vivitar. Wow. You know, another plastic one makes a lot of noise, people are gonna hear you coming. Can't really do any sneaky uh, street photography with this one. The Vista Tele, Tele-wide panorama. It does all, it does the Tele, it does the wide and a panorama mana. All right, so let's check this out. Okay, two lenses, like wide, yeah, the wide. And then your Tele, zoom, baby. Panorama, you know, usually that just kind of Oh yeah, you can see the viewfinder changes there. That's funny. Gives you that guide. Because all it really does is crop into the uh, film, so it's still the 35 length. It just basically crops it into what I think would be today, like a 9, 16 by 9 or whatever. I don't know. Oh, okay. So uh, this is one thing that I do love about these cameras for this time. Um, you know, early 90s or whatever. 
I really love this ergonomic trigger. I've seen it on a couple different ones. Um, I've got this other little plastic camera that's got it. But this is a, it's a fun trigger. It's just, it's like I said, it's ergonomic. It, your finger's just right in there. It's like that's where it wants to go. And you gotta love that when a camera just feels right, right? Like all the fingers go where they need, should go. Ugh. That's not very pleasant at all. Yeah, let's check out the battery compartment. You know, this is always a scary spot. Look, you know, see? It's not terrible, terrible. Yeah, I mean, great. It's not nothing. So, yeah. Kind of cool. All right, camera number five, Minolta. Came with this. Um, I thought it was for that, but I don't know. That's uh, for the lens that does not exist here. So with the Minolta Maxim Double X 300S. Is that an I or an L? Well, you know, it's wide open. I can see the mirrors looking pretty good. I almost thought that said AM and FM. Like, cool, it comes with radio. Autofocus manual. This is clunky, very lightweight. Oh, good, you can lock it. Different modes, but I don't know. You know, it's it's fine. Oh, this is, oh, this is weird. This is actually kind of nice. Like, it's got a little, like, rubber uh, bumper here for your face. I can honestly tell you I've hit my eyebrow on that a few times. Just getting a little bit to the moment. Start moving around a little too quick, and all of a sudden, bam. Oh, you know, this is actually kind of strange, too. I've never seen this where it's, like, all just plastic and rubber. They have a very specific hot shoe. Huh. That's obnoxious. I wonder if they did it intentionally so you have to use their... their flash? I don't know. I'm not that familiar with these, so that's interesting. If you know, let put it down in the comments, because that is strange. Huh. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why this would be, like, parts and repair, but maybe... Maybe there's something I don't know. I actually don't even know if I have a lens for this, so I'm not really sure what I can do with that. But if I ever do, <laughs> it fits this. I've got the lens cap. Camera number six, another Minolta. Um, okay, you got the QTS. Let's go with I. Still the Maxim with the double X. Um, oh, that's funny. This is like pretty much the same camera. It's just, um, I guess a little newer. You know, um, still got a radio button here. <laughs> still don't have a lens to test this, but I mean, the mirror looks good. Open her up. Open her back up. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. It's nice. Battery compartment. Oh, there's a battery in there. Okay, I don't see any corrosion though. Let's get this out. It's also a max. <gasps> hmm. Alright, well that's cool that, I mean, I love when a camera has easy batteries. Um, it's obnoxious when you have to buy 18 different batteries for 18 different cameras. Oh, it says bat open with coin. I didn't use a coin. Oh, man. I'm not sure why it's parts and repair, but maybe just for the simple fact that nobody ever wanted to test it. Which, I don't really want to either. <laughs> Alright. Next camera, I was actually kind of excited about this one. It's quirky and weird. I was excited to play with it. Um, this is the last one until we get to our two prized uh, curiosities with the Nikon and the um, Leica, but this is funky, right? I mean, it's built like a video camera. The shape, the way you hold it. I've never like shot something with a viewfinder like that. The skills, pretty interesting. Now we gotta love a little DIY. Nothing in there. Well, let's see. Yeah, nothing in there. Um, but it's so funny, right? Um, I had to, when I was looking this up, I was like guessing, like, how do you even know the film? And I figured, okay, so yeah, down below. These ones are funny. Yeah, it's bottom load camera. Oh, there's film in there. Oh my gosh, there's film in there. I love, I love when there's film in there. Okay, so I gotta hold off on that. Um, I do want to pull that out and see if it's exposed, see if it's not. Um, I, you know, I've found found cameras with film in all the time, and I sometimes there's nothing, sometimes there's just some random vacation pics. But you know, it's a just like a fun little treat. 
Uh, thing that's so funny with this is that this is how you turn it on, all right? So this is actually the on switch. There's like a little Pac-Man uh, symbol that points over. So when you do that, the camera will turn on. And obviously because of this length, it's got like a bunch of zoom. The funniest thing though is um, when you zoom, the lens moves. This is obviously like your light if you're using it. This thing's going to move with it. All right, if I can get this tested, it's gonna be hilarious to watch. This one's gonna need some updates, but funny stuff. You know, it's just such a quirky camera. I mean, nobody's gonna know what you're doing. People are gonna think you're filming a uh, video. It's so funny. All right, to be continued on this one. <sighs> okay, here it is. This is it. These are the two that are going to make or break this uh, buy. Oh, okay. Here she is. Wow. It's got some size and weight to it. <laughs> Gotta notice immediately this little duck over here. Alright, well yeah, looking at it firsthand, I mean... Got stickers on there and stuff. You know, kind of makes you wonder how well this was taken care of, but again, it's in this case, so that was my hope that it, the rest of the body is just perfect, but... Um, yeah, it's dusty. It's a little dirty. I didn't say that much. Okay, well, this is looking good. I'm excited to get into this one. Nothing is reading off the bat as being bad. Oh, it stinks, though. <laughs> I gotta say that. Sometimes you'll love the smell of an old camera, and sometimes it stinks. That's when it stinks. I mean, God, this is not bad. Oh my gosh, and I, like I was saying, I thought the mirror was gone. In the photos, it looked like it was gone. That mirror's still there. There is some, like, damage um, where it hits the bumper, and that's going to be up top here. There's no bumper. There's nothing left there at all, um, which is completely normal. They, they're, That foam and that whatever they use is not going to last, you know, what, 60-plus years or whatever this is. It's nice, like little burgundy kind of thing. Okay, not bad. Not bad. This is just gunk. Oh, nice. Okay, I am hopeful. I'm very hopeful. Well, that's just a wind of film. No, that's not a winder. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, this is fun. Like I said, I just don't have, I don't have experience with these, but like, that's the joy of it. That's the fun of going through these and seeing how each camera does it a little differently, a little... Um, yeah, like different solutions for some of the same problems. Every camera's going to have its own issues. Okay, you know, that comes off easily. I'm curious what that sticker is, um, if that's relevant or not, or if it's just something insignificant like one of these ones. But hey, that is looking pretty good. Um, I think there's like a curtain shutter, like moves like side to side. It's like, um, we'll see. I'm going to play with it some more. Let's see if this winds. Oh, it does. It's not smooth. All right, I'm not going to trigger it because that doesn't have a bumper. Um, I might test it, but I'll actually literally put a piece of foam in place of that, but actually let's just do it, right? And just see if she moves. Oh, she does. Oh, nice. Okay. I think that's as much as I'm going to do now, but this, oh, uh, you know, I get so nervous with this stuff. You never know what you're going to get, but Oh, it's looking good. It's, you know, checking off all my boxes right out the gate anyway. Um, yeah, man, I'm so excited to get into this one and really go into a deep dive. Um, oh, man. Whew, you know? This is exciting. Viewfinders look pretty good. I don't know. I'm, this is cool. Um, yeah, I'll have to do like a whole video for just this one. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so excited. Whew, okay, nice. All right, well, this is it. It's time for the Leica. At least I'm assuming it's going to be a Leica. Alright, 
here she is. Oh, it's a Leica. Oh, man. This is so cool. Oh, man. This is awesome. So, like, again, the photos, it was just a simple photo from the front, super pixelated, and then just something simple from the back. And, you know, it was all in a group, so it was just really small. And, I don't know, a lot of cameras, they mimicked the way these look, so it just kind of looked like a little knockoff. But, whew, it's a Leica. Ernst Lee's Wiesler, I don't know. This is great. Oh, it's great. Um, so yeah, this is a 3A. Um, you can tell because these uh, viewfinders are uh, have a bit more space, even that little notch there. Um, it's got the slow shutter speed setting up front. Oh, it's so cool. Wow. All right. So 1936. Right, or I think they started making it in 35 or something, but this is, I'm guessing, like 36, but, so that's a 3A. Um, they made, like, 90,000 of these, and there's, like, a 3A, B, and C, and the Cs are the most common. They made the most of those. Uh, this one is, you know, it's, it, you don't find them as much. Um, there is one that's even more rare, where over here it's going to say something like Mont Desert or something, but it's in France. And so these are pre-war uh, and then after the war, they uh, started making some in France, but only like 500. Oh, so cool. So got like a, a Canon camera, I mean a Canon lens. Um, and 35 millimeter, you know, these things are insane. Um, it, the shutter is so beautiful. I mean, look at that. They're just like razor blades lined up like a flower. Oh, it's so cool. All right, I, I want to take the lens off and put this down. All right, so it's like a screw mount. Okay. Oh, wow, yeah, no, it, it you really got to screw it. Oh, that's so funny. It's still going, it's still going. <laughs> I've never seen one that, like, screws on, like, this much. That's so cool. Okay. Nice. Oh, the lens has got weight to it. The lens weighs like as much as a camera body. Oh, wow. This is so cool. All right, well, nice. This looks amazing. Um, um, I do, I'm going to open this up. Auf. <laughs> I don't know German. I don't know what that means. Um, all right, let's just... Give this a little spin, and then, yeah, this should come up and, oh, oh yeah, okay, oh, there's film in there, oh my gosh, there's film in there, are you kidding me, that's insane, this is so cool, hold on, let's see what it is, oh, come on, I'm trying to be really, oh, there it goes, okay, all right, so the, oh, okay, whoa, <laughs> nice, that looks super old, that would have been funny to pull out some, like, Kodak, um, Portra 400 or something, but, wow, <laughs> I love when it comes with film, this is so cool, oh, I mean, it doesn't look bad, oh, awesome stuff, you guys, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's not even my birthday. It's not. Oh, the um the leather in the front's a little loose, but you know whatever. Some of these screws are. I mean, I guess it's a little rust on there, so that's never a good sign. But how cool. Oh, and the film. I I kind of think there might be some film in there. It's yeah, maybe it was like a, a short roll, but. Wow, this is so cool. These are so funny. The viewfinders are so small. Like, if you're wearing glasses and stuff, it is so hard to see in there. These are so funny. But these are like a workhorse of their day, you know? This is a, just a piece of history. 1936? Oh, it's crazy. All right, well, wow, this was a bit, this is awesome. I gotta tell you, I this is just, this was a wild ride for me. Um... <laughs> I'm going to definitely go uh, into a deep dive in, with a video for this one. Um, 
I want to, yeah, I want to, I want to play with this so much. All right, guys, thank you so much for, <laughs> for watching this. If you liked it, click like and subscribe. Um, oh, so cool. All right, man, I want to take some pictures now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.